and we got our package. What's up guys? It's me from the future. So this is me editing this video right now. And as I'm editing it, I realized that I somehow, somewhere I lost the clip of me introing the video. So um, just to kind of get a good intro and you guys have obviously already seen the truck. So you already know what it's going to look like and so forth. Um, we are actually plastic dipping the truck. Amethyst, it's called Amethyst. You can get all the information you need for all the products at dipyourcar.com. And they have several different colors, yada, yada, yada. Um, it is the Pro Car Kit. Do not get this confused with spray can Plasti Dip. This is essentially a um, liquid wrap. Um, this isn't just Walmart spray cans. This is actually sprayed with a gun. Um, Again, it's not it's not plastic dip cans. Everyone gets that confused. It's not. This costs a lot more money than just spray cans. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be the intro. Um, I think I've explained everything else in the video. So, on to the video. Just got the grill off. Gonna start taping off the headlights and maybe start the. Uh, degreasing slash waxing it because it I did wax this um as you can tell you do need to get the wax off for the paint to cure to it properly not sure if I'm going to tape off the top or not because I really don't want an exposed line here for it to peel we might paint the whole thing I think we will actually but uh yeah getting ready to tape that off This is going to be pretty much it for tonight just because I don't want to do anything with the truck being wet. So I'm hoping it'll dry out tomorrow. Um, here, I'll get my light out. So we got the cover, the um, mirrors covered. Got the tail lights out. So you can kind of see that. Got the license plate off, got the tailgate off. And then uh, tomorrow we will s degrease the whole truck and then tape off the windows, badges, and hang plastic over the intercooler and the wheels. So funny story, uh, so I was kind of like a little happy because I was like, oh, there's no, I don't have, there's no events this weekend, so like I don't have to rush getting the truck done or anything like that. So like this should be like pretty nice, like I'll just, you know, take my time with it and like don't have to worry about driving it this weekend. And then as I'm like taking all this stuff off the truck, I get a notification saying four by four night at Quaker State is this weekend, which I've never been before. And it kind of works out because my truck should be looking pretty dope by then. And uh, so yeah, now we're in a time crunch. Um, the stuff is supposed to be here Thursday. I think I said that already. So I'm gonna try to have everything prepped and ready by Thursday, get the paint in Thursday, paint it Thursday night, and then Friday get home, put everything back on, peel all the tape off, and hopefully it'll be ready to go. So I do want to get a new bumper. Um, I think I'm going to order that this weekend, and then I do want to get new rear tail lights and front two inch spacers, and then that will kind of get the truck looking how I want. I do want to get 24s by before I go to Daytona next year. I know a lot of you guys are gonna hate me for saying that. At least, okay, I really want 24s, but I could I could deal with 22s. Um, I just think that the 20s look so small in that big truck. Like, it's so big, the 20, it makes the 20s look tiny. And the truck's a street truck, so it's like, who, I might as well put like a big wheel on it. Um, but yeah, that's my goal. My goal for Daytona is 24s or 22s and a reliable truck and kind of get it squared away in the interior to like get the carpet in it and get the gauges set up right and stuff like that and it's i mean other than that like the truck is running absolutely great 
Like, I cannot complain. I do need to get Transcore, too. But that's all stuff we can do, so. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What is up, guys? So, it's the next day. Um, we did have a little bit of change in plans on how the truck is going to look. Um, I think this will look a lot better, and it'll save us a little bit of work. And overall, we'll tie the whole truck together to make it look pretty much like perfect in my eyes. So, what we decided. Uh, we were talking about yesterday on how we were going to leave the roof and pillars black. Well, I decided I'm going to leave the hood and the tops of the fenders black as well. Um, just because if I were to leave the pillars black, the body line where we would cut it off at wouldn't match anything. Um, it would look really weird because it would be up here. So it would come down and then all this, this would be black up here and then it would drop and it would be purple here. So I think it would look really, really strange. And the truck has a body line right here that follows all the way through right here. And then it comes out level with the bed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just paint the whole sides of the truck purple or whatever the color is. Um, and then it'll keep the roof and the hood black, which works out because the stack will probably destroy the paint on the hood and whatever else. So that's the plan for right now. Alright guys, a little bit of jumping time here. So we got this side done as well. I'm honestly so impressed with my taping skills. I mean, look how straight. I don't know if you can tell. Look how straight that. It's all freehand, obviously. Look how straight that is. So we got all that. Got the door handles taped off, the badges. I'm honestly impressed with how well. I don't know if you pick it up on camera, but how well these badges and stuff got taped off. That was taped off yesterday. But one thing that will help a lot, one of these guys, and these help with the cracks, uh, tucking all the tape down, as you can kind of see here. Oh, kind of tucks everything. Um, and then we'll wipe the truck down another time because it was getting like real streaky looking. I don't know if it's just because of using a scrub brush on it. I don't feel anything. And another thing we did was, so we were going to paint the tailgate separate uh, just because I was going to paint this part right here. But I decided to put, I just painted it black because this was red from the old bed. So I just painted it black and then we're going to throw the tailgate on. We're going to paint it with the tailgate on um, just because with this plastic dip stuff, you really don't want to get it in a lot of the crevices because it will be hard to get out um, when you go to uh peel it or whatever so this is it pretty much right now i'm um, getting ready to plastic tape off the whole top half of the truck um and then we're gonna leave we're gonna paint these so that means we got to plastic tape and do around that um the biggest thing is it was supposed to be sunny all week, but apparently now it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm hoping with the plastic over the windshield and everything, we can still drive it in here enough to be able to keep it outside until Thursday night. Um, and then obviously we're going to cover the wheels and stuff. I'd like to just pull the wheels off completely, but we'll see how lazy I'm feeling when we get to that. But yeah, guys, um, pretty much most of the prep is done. We will wipe it down one more time before we spray it just because of dust collecting on it and whatever else. So yeah, I'm super duper excited and hopefully we can make this thing look pretty rad. I honestly am so glad that I decided to go with the black hood and black roof because I think it will honestly just make the, look, the truck look that much better. So, Okay, so this is pretty much it. It's pretty much how it's going to be done. Um, Obviously the windshield is not taped down yet because I'm going to flip it up to drive it in and then when right when we're about to paint it I'll tape it up. But this is the sides and the back. I gotta grab more plastic because I'm gonna tape off the inside of the bed. Um, and then I have this side flipped up too so this will flip down and I'll just tape this seam and that seam there um, just so I can get in and out of the truck and drive it in. 
And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I got to throw the tailgate on. And um, like I said, I'll grab more plastic tomorrow so I can uh, wrap the wheels and uh, probably like fill in the um, wheel wells so that I don't get overspray in the wheel wells. I'm really trying to do this the the best and cleanest way I possibly can. Um, I, I guess I forgot I still have to cover all this stuff here, but I'm trying guys. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today because I'm out of plastic. So I think I'm going to drive the truck in and hopefully rain holds off tomorrow so that I can yank the truck back out tomorrow and finish everything else up and uh, we'll be good for Thursday. All right, I've got it in the garage to keep it out of the weather. Got the tailgate on, handle taped up. And then uh, tomorrow we'll finish everything else up and we'll be ready for paint on Thursday. Hopefully the paint actually comes in on Thursday. Um, a lot of times UPS will say it's getting delivered on a certain day and it actually doesn't. So we'll see. But see you guys tomorrow. And we got our package. This is how it comes. What's up guys? We already got one coat sprayed on the other side of the truck. Just filling this up. Um, you can kind of see it from here. I know I didn't really show much. I'm in a rush because it might rain. So. Sorry guys, super sweaty. This is a lot more work than I remember it being. And by work I mean like getting all the angles, the hands heavy. Yeah, just, I'll show you guys when we get down here. Day of the game, we're sitting in a bar waiting for the game to start. And in walks this girl. When I die, fuck it, I wanna go to hell Cause I'm a piece of shit, it ain't hard to fucking tell It don't make sense going to heaven with the goody goodies Dressed in white, I like black Tims and black hoodies God will probably have me on some real strict shit No sleeping all day, no getting my dick lit Hanging with the goody goodies, lounging in paradise Fuck that shit, I wanna tote guns and shoot dice All my life I've been considered as the worst Lying to my mother, even stealing out of purse Crime after crime, from drugs to extortion I know my mother wish she got a fucking abortion She don't even love me like she did when I was younger Sucking on her chest just to stop my fucking hunger I wonder if I died, would tears come to her eyes? Forgive me for my disrespect, forgive me for my lies My baby mother's eight months, her little sister's two Who's to blame for both of them? I swear to God, I wanna just slip my wrist and end this bullshit Roll the magnum till my head threatened the bullshit And squeeze until the bed is completely red I'm glad I'm dead, I want this fucking boo to head The stress is building up, I can't, I can't believe Suicide's on my fucking mind I wanna leave, I swear to God, I feel like death is fucking calling But nah, you wouldn't understand it's kinda like the crack did the poop in New Jack Except when I cross over, it ain't no coming back Should I die on the train track, my like dream over the street People at the funeral, fucking like they miss me My baby mama kissed me, but she glad I'm gone She know me and her sister had something going on I reached my peak, I can't speak Call my nigga cheek, tell him that my will is Coming from the future again Um, so after editing everything, watching everything I kind of realized that I didn't really go over the painting process all that much in this video. Um, so for those that are actually like interested in how to spray it and you know the prepping process in itself, next week I'll be dropping a video that's going to be kind of a surprise to some of you. Some of you already know, but next week will be like kind of an even bigger surprise. And in that video, I'll be going over a lot more details um and you'll see a lot more details you'll see me actually spraying um and all of that so for those that are actually interested in seeing how that works how it's sprayed you know the whole shebang um next week's video will be the one you need to watch um i apologize i didn't really get a lot of footage 
this video because I was by myself. I was in a rush. It just all kind of didn't go how I wanted to. I, if it went the way I wanted to, I really wanted to um, get those clips that, you know, breaking down how it gets sprayed, you know, how the whole process works, how the material works, and, you know, how good of a material it is. But next week's video, stay tuned for that. And um, that should be answering all of your guys' questions if you do have some. Um, and if you guys want some questions now or feel free to DM me, comment on here, whatever else. But thanks, guys.